Next up, we have the greatest integer function, also called the step function. Well, it's defined as f of x equals bracket x, where bracket x represents the greatest integer less than x or equal to x. Now, x, if it is any real number, it can either be an integer or not be an integer. If x is an integer, then bracket x is equal to x. If x is not an integer, then bracket x is greatest integer strictly less than x. If my x is 2.7, what is bracket 2.7? It's the greatest integer strictly less than 2.7. Well, 2.7 is strictly sitting between two consecutive integers 2 and 3. The greatest integer strictly less than 2.7 is 2, which is lying on the immediate left of 2.7. That means the answer is 2. What about when x is minus 3.2? When x is minus 3.2, it's again not an integer. So bracket minus 3.2 will be the greatest integer strictly less than minus 3.2. Minus 3.2 sits somewhere here between two consecutive integers minus 4 and minus 3. The greatest integer strictly less than minus 3.2 is minus 4, which is lying on the immediate left of minus 3.2. So minus 4 is the value. What about 0 0.75? 0 0.75 is sitting between two consecutive integers 0 and 1. The integer lying on the immediate left of 0.75 is 0. That means bracket 0.75, that is the greatest integer strictly less than 0.75, is 0. Got it? And what about bracket 5? 5 itself is an integer. So the greatest integer less than 5 or equal to 5 is actually the integer equal to 5, which is 5 itself. Got it? So now I'm in a position to generalize the behavior of the bracket x or the greatest integer function. Well, when x is greater than or equal to 0, strictly less than 1, what can you say is bracket x? Tell me. Well, when x is 0, bracket x is 0. When x is strictly between 0 and 1, then the, then the integer to the immediate left of x is 0. So bracket x is again 0. That means for all x greater than or equal to 0, strictly less than 1, bracket x is 0. Next, if x is greater than or equal to 1, strictly less than 2, then what is bracket x? When x is equal to 1, bracket x is same as 1. But when x is strictly sandwiched between 1 and 2, then the integer immediate left of these x is 1. Yes, the integer lying on the immediate left is 1, right? That means, again, bracket x is same as 1. Got it? What about when x is greater than or equal to minus 1, strictly less than 0? Well, when x is minus 1, bracket x is minus 1. When x is strictly sandwiched between minus 1 and 0, then the integer lying on immediate left of these x is minus 1. That means throughout this interval, bracket x is minus 1. And so on. Got it? Now that I have the definition of the bracket x function, let's quickly plot its graph. Well, at 0, the value of the function is 0. From 0 to 1, it is again 0, but at 1, it's not 0. At 1, it's 1. Then from 1 to 2, it is throughout 1. At 2, it's not 1. At 2, it's 2. Then from 2 to 3, it's throughout 2. At 3, it's not 2. At 3, it's 3. Then from 3 to 4, it's throughout 3. And then again, it's not 3. It's 4 and so on. Cool. At minus 1, the value of the function is minus 1. Then throughout, it's minus 1. But at 0, it's not minus 1. At minus 2, the value of the function is minus 2. Then throughout, it's minus 2. But at minus 1, it's not minus 2. And so on. This is the graph of the greatest integer function that you get. Can you see it's looking like steps? Yes, that's why it's also called the step function. So understand what is this function doing, see. Whatever real number you are putting in this function as input, output is the greatest integer less than that real number or equal to that real number, which is again a real number. That means no matter what the real number is input, output is always real. So the domain of this function is set of all reals. Also observe, for any real input, output is the integral part of that input. An integral part of any real number is always an integer. That means what is this function doing? Corresponding to any real x as input, Output is its integral part, which is an integer. That means outputs are always integers. So the range of this function is set of all integers. Got it? Easy, right? For more videos and live lectures on the JEE, click on the subscribe button now.